This is where greatness meets reverence and inspiration knows no bounds. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the Ace of Aces Awards. To bestow this special award, I would like to invite on stage Virene Rasquina, former Indian hockey captain and current CEO of Olympic Gold Quest and joining him L.V. Navneet, CEO of the Hindu Group. What an evening, ladies and gentlemen, this keeps getting bigger and better. Well, this one goes to the stalwart of the tennis court whose illustrious career has inspired countless aspirants and elevated the standard of Indian tennis on the global stage. Join us as we celebrate his remarkable contributions to the world of sporting and his enduring legacy as a true champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is none other than Rohan Bopana. Round of applause. We can make a lot more noise, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is going to be a very interesting chat, and it's extremely something I'm looking forward to. So, Leander, could you please? Uh, Share your thoughts on the recipient of the coveted Ace of Aces Award. Over to you, gentlemen. Well, I can definitely not compete against Rohan in Aces, that's for sure. I'm 5'10 on a good day, and look how tall this young man is. Today on stage, he's standing much taller because he has persevered, put his heart into, and kept on proving that age is just a number. He's kept on proving that with hard work and perseverance, you can succeed. The partner that I have never had the opportunity to play with, I always wished I could play with him. Ro, how does this moment feel? Uh, first of all, Lee, lovely to see you. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, it's so uh, great to be here. Uh, Sometimes we constantly are traveling and uh, playing these tournaments. I never get to be at these uh, award functions and meet all uh, the wonderful athletes India has produced. So really, first of all, great to be here. Uh, it definitely feels magical, uh, you know, after so many years that you're constantly trying to uh, achieve the dream. My personal goal was to win a men's doubles Grand Slam and get to the number one ranking in the world. And uh, today to have done it, uh, it feels extremely proud uh, with all those years and years of sacrifices. Uh, you know, all us uh, athletes, uh, you know, who constantly go through day in, day out. Uh, it feels very humbling, especially coming from uh, the beautiful land of Kurg. Uh, you know, when my parents uh, decided that uh, they'll put me into an individual sport, uh, though my dad loved uh, playing cricket in his college days, he said, okay, I'm going to start tennis for you and uh, started in, uh, you know, there in Coog and uh, today to have gone all the way across the world and uh, won my first Grand Slam in Melbourne, it feels truly special and very, very proud. Tell us. I've obviously traveled with you for many years, seen your training, seen your perseverance, seen the hard work you've put in. But what have you done special in the last 12 months? Because you've won an Asian Games medal, a gold in the mixed doubles. You have gone and won the Australian Open. Also, you were in the finals of the US Open and just missed by a whisker. What has changed in the last 12 months? Uh, I think the, 
biggest thing is uh, for me what I started uh, focusing on was recovery. Um, to end of 2019, I got to know that I had no cartilages on my knee left. It was fully worn out. I was on two, three painkillers a day. We know uh, all about those painkillers. You definitely also know very well about them. Yeah, but uh, end of 2019, when I came to Bangalore, my doctor there, uh, Dr. Madan Balal, he told me that, uh, why don't you try the PRP injections, the platelet-rich uh, plasma injections? And he said this injection. Be careful, the water are watching, yeah? yeah absolutely, okay. I'm uh, fully aware of it, and they also are pretty much aware of it, <laughs> yeah. So uh, what he told me was, I can help you with these injections, but that's uh, not going to straight away uh, uh, you know, go out there and work, and you can start jumping as much as you want. What you need to do, follow up, is do a lot of strengthening. And uh, that's when I discovered Iyengar Yoga. Uh, they, I was 40 years old. Uh, I didn't think I would actually discover something new, but uh, you know, at the juncture I was, I was in extreme pain, and I said, okay, let's give it a try. I mean, that is something uh, which has always carried me, my perseverance of constantly trying to find new ways to get better. And uh, I said, okay, let's give it a shot. And some way or the other, uh, the pandemic kind of helped me. Uh, it gave me that four months of time at home to really focus on something, to build strength in my legs again. And I think that is where it made a tremendous of a difference. Uh, because every time I went to the gym and started uh, lifting weights, I had extreme pain on the knees. And this yoga was so specific, uh, the Iyengar yoga, that uh, it started building my hamstrings, my quads, everything really uh, in better shape. And I, my, I could see the muscle coming back into my legs. And that suddenly after two, three months, when I started playing tennis again, I had no pain. Wow. And I think that is where uh, the belief came back again to, you know, uh, enjoy tennis again, you know, play it, uh, tennis without any pain. I, don't, I didn't think that day would come. And uh, today I'm happily playing without taking any painkillers. And I feel uh, very happy when I'm playing there on the court. Well, gentlemen, there's, there's something happening which I just have to bring attention to. Uh, could you turn around because we've got something be <laughs> incredible behind you. I got to get a photograph of this. No, that, did, did you see this? I did see this. And I, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I can say that definitely that, uh, uh, you know, when you come on a Amul ad, that means you, that's really, it. you know, that, that, <laughs> that's, that's when it, uh, uh, you know, I can uh, peacefully, uh, you know, end my career whenever. It no is. eye contact policy after that with everyone. <laughs> Just walk around. <laughs> you know, I, I thought you were going to say it's the coffee that was the magic. You know, the Kurgi coffee that you actually make and you, you, you support. But also, I've always seen you in sweaty clothes. I've always seen you in gym shorts. Looking pretty sharp today. Huh? Trust me. Was that given, Supriya's doing? It is always, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I would have loved to come here in shorts and T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, especially, uh, you know, when you wear it uh, 30 weeks a year. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, once in a while, it's good to dress up. I've seen you do this often, uh, you know, outside the tennis court. So I said, why not, you know, do something different? Tell me now, we're in an Olympi Olympic here. You've got the French Open coming up. You've got Indian Wells, Palm Springs, Miami coming up. You've got Wimbledon coming up before that. But today you are the number one player in the world. Not just the oldest number one player in the world, the number one player in the world. I remember this. Thank you. I remember this from 2012 when as the number one player in the world, you can get to choose who you want to play with. Have you given that Olympics a little bit of thought? Rutuja and you have won the Asian Games gold medal in the mixed doubles. What's your aims for the Olympics? I mean, well, uh, definitely would love to play with, uh, uh, you know, one of the guys in a few tournaments. Unfortunately, uh, I've told them that they need to get their ranking up. We won't get into any of the Master Series or the ATP 500s because all the guys ranked today are... 60 and below. Uh, unfortunately, there is no chance to get into the mixed doubles because mixed doubles, the only way to get in is combined ranking. It's not the top 10. Top 10 only gets you a partner for the men's doubles. So mixed doubles out of the question because there is nobody uh, from the women's side uh, ranked that high. So, uh, so yeah, so hoping that, uh, you know, one of these guys we have about, I think, uh, eight or 10 guys ranked from 60 to 120 right now in the double circuit. So, yeah, I could definitely partner any one of them. 
and i've told them i said this is going to be a great opportunity for them to uh, make their debut at uh, you know paris uh, so you know make sure you're healthy playing good tennis and the most importantly i think when the clay court season comes is not to really miss it because coming from india we struggle uh, on that surface uh, uh, and it's not our preferred surface so i told them you know you know play a lot more tournaments on the clay and then uh, you know it gives me a chance in june to actually pick uh, who i can really play with Ron, to you, your family, Supriya, your little one, your parents who've been unconditional support with you, um, wishing you from all of us at Sportstar, at Hindu, all the best for the season coming up. I know this is your second Grand Slam you've won. You've got so much talent. I've said it my whole life. And I'm looking forward to you not only winning at the Olympics, but also winning more Grand Slams to your showcase. Your world number one, the oldest man to win a Grand Slam, Rohan Bopanna. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for that. Thank you all very much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Congratulations, Rohan. You truly are an inspiration.